Something incredible is happening in the world of artificial intelligence right now and it's more than just buzz. We're seeing breakthroughs that are genuinely shifting how AI thinks, learns, and even remembers. Two major developments are leading the charge. DeepSeek has introduced a groundbreaking new method for training AI models to think critically and improve themselves and OpenAI is giving ChatGPT a memory upgrade that takes user interaction into a whole new level. Let's dive into both stories and break down what's happening, why it matters, and how it might shape the future of AI for everyone from developers to casual users. First up, DeepSeek has just unveiled an advanced new AI system that's making waves in the research community and for good reason. It's called DeepSeek GRM and it's a new kind of model trained using a novel method known as Self-Principled Critic Tuning or SPCT. This isn't just another large language model, it's a system designed to reflect on its own reasoning, judge answers based on internal principles, and improve its decision-making through structured critic. So what makes it different? DeepSeek GRM doesn't just spit out answers. When you give it multiple response options, it, it analyzes each one based on principles it has learned, things like correctness, clarity, safety, and relevance. It doesn't stop there. The model also generates a critic of each answer, scores from 1 to 10, and selects the most suitable one. It's like an AI version of a student that's not only answer questions but explains why one answer is better than the others and learns from that process. Even more impressive is something called repeated sampling at interface time. This means that when it's time for the model to evaluate answers, it can run the judging process multiple times, compare outcomes, and average or vote on them to reach a better decision. It's lower than a single pass, but the added accuracy is a big payoff. And to top it off, DeepSeek added a safeguard called Meta Reward Model or Meta RM. This acts like a quality control filter, scanning multiple critics and tossing out the weaker or less reliable ones. The end result? You get a much more accurate and refined final answer without needing to train a giant model from scratch every time. How does DeepSeek train its AI? Training DeepSeek GRM involves a two-phase process. The first stage is called Rejective Fine-Tuning RFT. The model is fed over a million examples of general instructions along with around 186,000 examples specifically selected because they challenge the model's ability to judge correctly. If the model gives a score that doesn't match up with a known good response, that data is rejected. This forced the model to focus on learning from its mistakes. This phase also includes an example where there's only one answer and the model is trained to assign a simple score, 1 if correct, 0 if not. For their 27 billion parameter model, based on JAMA 227B, DeepSeek used massive computational resources, 128A100 GPUs for about 19 hours to complete this phase. The second phase is a reinforcement learning step called GRPO, which builds on methods like PPO or Proximal Policy Optimization. Here, the model gets a reward if it chooses the best answer, plus 1, and a penalty if doesn't, negative 1. A regularization term called KL penalty, set at 0.08, helps keep the model output stable and prevents it from veering too far off course. This part of training used over 237,000 data points in another round of intensive compute. DeepSeek has even tried training version of its generative reward model at different sizes, from a 16B mixture of experts model to an enormous 67 1B version. But the sweetest spot seems to be the 27B model, which strikes at a good balance between power and cost. And here's the kicker. By running repeated sampling on this model, say 32 times, it can come close to matching the performance of the giant 67 1B model without needing the same expensive infrastructure. Now, all this would be interesting on paper, but what about actual results? DeepSeek GRM was tested on several industry standard benchmarks. On Reward Bench, which evaluates things like reasoning and safe chatting, the 27B model scored an impressive 86% with just one run. When they added sampling and meta RM filtering, that jumped to 90.4%, a huge leap. Another benchmark like PPE or preference and correctness and RMBB, helpfulness and harmlessness, showed smaller but still significant improvements. On average, the model improved from 69.1% with one pass to 72.8% using repeated sampling and filtering. 
That's not just good, it's competitive with, or even better, models like GPT 4.0 and Neutron 4340B in some categories. And remember, this is from a company that isn't as widely known as OpenAI, but is backed by prestigious institutions like Tsinghua University in China. There's no buzz that DeepSeek's next chatbot, possibly called R2, will be launching soon. If it's based on this new GRM system, it could push conversational AI even further. No official word yet on release dates or exact features, but the excitement is building. Even more intriguing, DeepSeek has hinted at eventually open sourcing their models. If that happens, it could be a game changer for developers and researchers looking for powerful, transparent AI tools. Right now, there's no timeline but the mere possibility is turning heads. While DeepSeek is working on self-reflecting AI, OpenAI has been quietly upgrading one of its most popular tools, ChatGPT. And this time, it's all about memory. ChatGPT's memory feature has been vastly improved. It can now remember all your past conversations, not just recent ones or session-based context, but everything you've ever shared with it unless you opt out. This transforms how people interact with AI. Instead of starting from scratch each time, your AI assistants can now build on previous chats, offering more personalized, helpful, and human-like responses. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman even commented that this feature is surprisingly great, and said it points toward AI becoming more like a professional system that grows with you over time. The rollout is happening now for ChatGPT Pro users and it will soon reach Plus, Team, and Enterprise users. Users in regions like the EU, UK, Norway, and Switzerland are currently excluded and free users don't have access yet. But the update is optional. Users can manage or delete their AI memory at any time or switch to temporary chat mode for full privacy. So here we are, AI that could not only think but judge, critic, learn, and remember. DeepSeek's SPCT approach is a brilliant alternative to simply scaling models endlessly. Instead of throwing more data or bigger architecture at the problem, they've made their models smarter through internal critic. And thanks to tools like MetaRM and repeated sampling, they're showing that smaller models can compete with or outperform massive ones if trained the right way. At the same time, OpenAI is doubling down on personalization. ChatGPT's evolving memory means it can support long-term tasks, learning goals, or writing projects in ways that feel tailored to each other. Together, these developments suggest a major shift in AI development, one that favors flexibility, self-improvement, and meaningful memory over brute force. The future of AI might not just be bigger models, but smarter, more adaptable ones that evolves with us. Things are moving fast in AI, and smarter we make these models, the more they feel like true collaborators not just tools and that's it thank you for watching this video also don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel